Hello oh, Gundam Nightingale fans, I'm a fan of this particular robot and so I've already done a review of this NX Edge Nightingale it just is the plain red one so I decided to splurge and get the metallic version and let's see what happens uh, let's see it's, I don't recall on the box on that resume. I don't know if they had a date on the other one either but this one I don't see any date so far it's just kinda hard to know how old you're you know, purchases are. But you see tape here. This actually might be new. I don't. I don't think this tape has ever been cut. Whereas the uh, the other review was clearly a used toy. It was very loose. So I'll be curious to see if it's loose by design or if it was just a used toy. Because this one's new. Hopefully it'll be tight. Some random stuff here. I don't know if that's uh no. It's not a production date. Okay, there's instructions here as well. And they look like the same instructions as that other one, so I don't really need to go into that too much. Got some baggies here, which I shall have to cut open the tape. Is it sealed or not? Yeah, that's interesting. You're not sealed. And it's just tape. I guess that's fine as long as it doesn't scratch itself. You don't have to find some scissors, you know. Well, I guess the stand out of the way. You can, uh, with this peg, put it pretty much anywhere here. And there should be some other ones. Hmm. The other one I had had three of these things, but this one only has one. So maybe that's a way for them to cover some of the cost of using metallic paint. Hmm. I'm gonna put the peg here. Very tight fit. There's a production dial here, so I'm a little, a little curious. 21. This is made in June 2021, so it's not that old. These little things are hold the funnel, hold the funnels if you want to display them off of the, the main suit. Here's the rifle. Looks the same as the other one. Very weak that it's not a recessed barrel. I think that would have been a pretty logical thing to try to get. I mean, Panda can do that kind of stuff, so it's just weak. All right, well, this is nicely painted. This white stuff here, there's a bit of a seam there, but it doesn't really bother me so much. This is raw plastic, though, the thrusters. It's that wavy, like, gunmetal plastic, which I'm not a fan of. But this one looks like it's painted. Hmm, right? It's, I don't know if you can see the difference. Uh, this looks lighter. This looks darker because this is painted gunmetal. This is trying to be raw plastic gunmetal. So that's also... <coughs> Sorry for the cough. Uh, that's also very weak though. Mismatching thrusters. Okay, this is actually not the kind of red I was anticipating. This is a lot lighter. It's almost like a maroon or a pink. It's very metallic though, I'll give him credit there. But oh my goodness, I don't know if this is painted or just metallic plastic. I was hoping to get a painted thing, you know, because it just always looks better. Well, let's, let's see, I'm going to be really let down if this is just a metallic plastic with all the weird waviness. Alright, starting at the bottom. That just looks like regular red plastic to me. You can see the gunmetal raw plastic here of the thrusters. And then uh, the back here. Uh, yeah. I think this is just a raw gunmetal kind of plastic. It's, I don't think it's painted. Going to the top here though. This torso has a certain texture to it. So I do feel like what I'm touching here is painted. But this forearm, I don't think is. I 
think it might be a, just a gunmetal, I mean, sorry, a metallic uh, molded piece of plastic. Huh. So does it match, you know? Uh, that's, this one looks like it's painted. But you see, I don't, I guess it's kind of close, but the way the light is catching on this surface versus that surface, it's just much brighter, the reflection here, right? Look how white it is. But when I move this arm around, the white is dulled down because I don't think it's painted. Yeah, and actually you can see here, painted, not painted. So it actually looks darker. It's interesting on this because it does give it a two-tone effect. You know, these, these funnels, they're not painted. So they just, they have a different look to them. I'm actually okay with it on this. Huh, well, all right. I kind of just thought it was going to be all painted the same color, but they're actually combining non-painted and painted to give it a two-tone effect. In particular, it's actually very prominent here on this, uh, this little skirt plate. The middle of it's that metallic paint. The whole rim is just the plastic itself. So, so yeah, hopefully you can pick up on it. You know, there's a little bit of a sheen in the plastic, but clearly here in the where I'm touching is very, very reflective. Yeah, they did it again here. This nose piece is painted, but not this. Hmm, it's starting to grow on me actually. And it's just, yeah. I wouldn't have guessed this would be a separate piece, but I guess it is. Hmm. All right. Well, look at the thrusters, though. They're nice and gold. I think the other one just had yellow ones, so that's nice. The Char's logo here is gold. This is very gold. Unfortunately, there's no gold in the this little thruster here. It's just a recess of the white. Same with all these. You know, I feel like those would have been nice to have gold paint. All right. Yeah, this is interesting. The head also is two-tone effect. The top of it, which can come off, I believe, if I can pry it off. These are brittle, so be careful pulling this off because you might break them. Oh, it comes out forward, so you can uh, you can move the mono eye if you want. It's a really small peg, though. The mono eye is a metallic green, so that's nice. There, so. This uh, beam note fold, don't pull it up like I was trying to. It has to come out horizontally pretty much, which is kind of silly. I think that's counterintuitive. I think they could have done it the other way, have it pull up instead of go in. But again, you can see this, what I'm touching here is all metallic paint, but then here, the side of it is just that raw metallic red. Okay, so the head, you can uh, get a little bit of movement before it collides. The arm, there's like a hinge and it's hidden by this fabric looking piece. You can see the hinge right there bending over to the right side of that fabric piece. But you can also see a peg here and that is pegging into the shoulder which seems to be pivotable. See, this, this box pivots in and out and then the shoulder peg will rotate within that. Okay, there's clearly a hinge here for the elbow. It's just a single hinge, but it actually bends really far the way they designed the armor to not collide it with itself. So that's good. The hand here, it has a metallic painted back and uh, it's, I think the raw metallic plastic with the grippy hands for both sides. You can grab a weapon on both sides. The torso, it can rotate, but you'll see it does collide right there. So it's just the nature of this design. There's no paint up in these thrusters, unfortunately. The back of the knees, yeah, the whole hip structure is a uh, peg with a ball. And then uh, it's cupped here by the upper leg. Then there's a single hinge here for the knee. And what's nice is these are flexible. So you can actually 
those will get out of the way, although the big skirt isn't put on yet. So far, it doesn't feel too flimsy, being a new, new toy. So I don't know with the other one how much it was played with, but this feels pretty well put together right now. All right, uh, so the foot here, you can see there's a ball peg, but it's a curved piece going into the foot with the ball. But it doesn't move. That's the odd thing. The ball is just back here. But decent amount of movement, you know, up down, being on a ball. A really decent amount of rocker, rocking your feet sideways. So that's pretty good. And then what I like about this particular nightingale is it'll actually stand without dragging its nose or whatever you want to call this part. All right, so the back here, sadly, this is not painted. You know, this is such a giant piece. I feel like it should have been painted just like this, you know, maybe the middle section here or either or vice versa. This could be painted just like they did on the, the vernier thing here. So speaking of the vernier, you got a whole bunch of, uh, you know, thruster details, which are nice. I, it's possible this could be painted. I'm not sure. But it looks nice, but this not so much. You know, it just looks kind of cheap, right? And this is ugly, but it'll get hit in a way. Decent recesses, you can add some paint details if you want. Uh, decent enough looking uh, thruster tanks. Now on the other one, this was really loose. I ended up putting like poster putty up in there. Let's see what happens on this one. You have to actually slide it in because if you look at this profile, it's like a trapezoid. It's not a straight, straight thing. So you can't put it in this way. You have to go up vertically. Pleasantly, that's nice and tight. Whereas the first one I have is very loose. So that's, that's good. Nice and tight. And there's a uh, hex hole there. They'll take like a standard three millimeter peg stand, but this one comes with the stand, so it's not a big deal. All right, let's continue building this up. Uh, I think it goes this way. Nope, I might be wrong. Ah, I can't remember. Kind of hard to see that image. Which way it's supposed to go. But that doesn't seem right. I feel like that's too low. Oh, I see. Nope. Just have to continue pushing it until the thruster butts up against this surface. So there, I can't wiggle it anymore. So you need around that gap. This one here, there's a notch right there. And there's a tab here, but not here. So that pretty much means this tab is on top to fit that notch up top. And it seems awfully close to this, but I think when it goes all the way in, it, it will clear it. So a little side to side wiggling. Pretty tight. Be mindful of the antenna on the head. The arm popped off. I think that's as far as I can get it in there. I feel like there's a little bit of a gap though with that tank. All right, well, it's not really noticeable. There you can see the hinge of the uh, this thing here. Will this come off? No, it will not. Okay. So that is problematic. This is just the same problem as my other one. This peg is just too short. Look how short it is. They, unfortunately, I don't know if they could have made it longer because there might be a peg here going into that section. So this thing, you might want to add some poster putty or something too to keep that thing from just falling off so easily. All right. Well, let's look at the shield. Well, this is nice. This black is actually metallic. 
Whereas I think the other one is just black. And then it's just a raw red metallic plastic. Decent enough details there. Uh, you cannot you cannot put this in here. Okay, no storage within the shield it seems. No. So you can peg this shield into either side of it. But it seems like Nightingale always has it on this side. Okay. And then... So nice metallic chartreuse color. Yellowish green, lime green kind of thing. Okay. You can dual wield if you want. Such a bulky figure. Okay. And then the thrusters again. So let's see. So it's nice that the you know what you don't see actually has details and they're recessed so you can add some black paint. I'm assuming those are thrusters what we're looking at there. And then that's obviously a, a deep dark hole so that already looks like a thruster. If you painted the outside like a gunmetal it would definitely look nice. And then it's just a peg exposed there but you can't see through to the other side so I think that's nice. And so if you wanted to yes you can take these little things and then you can peg this into the stand. But it's not a smart design because they're so short. You know, if these things are flying off of this, these things should be tall, right? So they look like they flew off of this. They shouldn't be down by the feet. So I'm never going to really use these things. They're just kind of poorly designed. You can see there's two notches in this thing, so it might lock into place. Yeah, nice positive snap. Unfortunately, there's no extra printing on this. It would have been cool. There's a lot of real estate, but they did not do that. I'm trying to push that in. It's clearly not all the way in. But then this arm gets in the way. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. I want to break it. There it goes. Okay, so it's nice and seamless there, right? And so just looking at the back view, you know, I could definitely use some paint. But uh, as, as a pre-finished uh, model, I, I guess it's acceptable. Right, you can see some gunmetal here and these cannons and the hoses coming around. So it's pretty nice, I guess. You can also put the shield on this thing. So you decide to use this. It pretty much bends it 90 degrees. But for me, it's kind of weird. You know, display it there, or if you put it above, then the thing can't hold anything. So, it's an option, but... Yeah, for me, it's not my thing. What's odd is, you know, this if this peg was longer, it'd be a lot easier, I think, to fit into the hand. Or more secure. Right? I mean, look how long the, the peg is on the gun versus this, but I suppose it might be possible to put this in the hand, barely. Uh, I'm not sure. I think if you wiggle it, it, yeah, it can hold the shield, but barely. So that's a strange, well, I guess they can't make the peg too long because it was intended to go there. Hard to say. Hard to see if they could have made that hole deeper or not. 
Anyways, that's gonna go in a box. I'm gonna skip putting the rifle back. And let's just get this up on the stand. So it's not leaned much, you know, it, it's generally horizontal. I think it would have been neat if the top part of that could pivot or you had two different arms where one is like it's flying, you know, forward considering it has so many thrusters as, as its main feature. It would have been nice to have this poseable in the, like a fast motion, fast forward flying motion. So I'm not going to compare it to other nightingales, uh, you know, in different scales. I did that in the first review, so if you want to go and watch the review of this, you know, you can see the other nightingales I have. But let's just compare these two. So, you know, this is very red. That's how I envision nightingale. What I was hoping for is this kind of red being a shiny metallic, right? But you can clearly see this has like a pink magenta kind of hue to it. Maybe it'll grow on me. It's definitely so different enough that I'm debating now keeping both of them. I was thinking I'll just get this and then sell this off. But let's see, let's see. So you'll see here the thrusters are not painted at all. It's just all white here. So at least here you got a little gold on two thrusters. Um, the gold is a little different it looks like than that one. I don't know which is better. Uh, though this beam saber does look identical though the color of it the, the guns are definitely identical in their weakness so that's the same paint the stands are obviously the same but this one again came with two extras so you could have the flying funnels sitting right here <laughs> which is really silly okay um, what really I didn't like about this one is the forearms in this raw rubbery uh, plastic, they just don't look very nice. You can kind of see here, right? Uh, something about it just makes it look cheap. So I thought this was all one molded piece and maybe it is, but I do like how they did the two different colors here. You know, it looks like more effort same with on the, the Berniers, whereas this is clearly all the same color. So it's obviously all the same red, this maroonish plastic, and they, they masked it off somehow to paint this metallic on there. So I really wish if that just carried into the tail, it would have been a more complete figure, you know, as far as keeping things consistent. But, uh, okay. So that's, that's basically the differences I see. Oh yeah, see here, something about this forearm looks really messed up. It's just uh, not very nice. This raw plastic, I will say, seems better. This metallic plastic that they used. It doesn't look as bad as just this, this plain red. All right, so you got the comparison thing. You basically get a two-tone finish on this one. It's just not really red, so keep that in mind. Uh, one last thing is the, the shield. So this is just like a matte black, and that's how most nightingales I see are envisioned. But this is, you know, definitely a metallic, shiny, glossy black. So it's definitely different. Okay. So obviously Bandai is pretty smart. They're almost like a mint. They pretty much print their own money through the through toys. <laughs> they, they sell a lot of toys. This whole Gundam franchise and uh, Bandai, I mean, making all sorts of franchise toys and the animations and all that. So they, they got me, that's for sure. Um, is this better than the other one though? Uh, that's highly debatable. 
Uh, it just it's nice that it has a better two-tone effect but it just doesn't really look like a nightingale right because of the fact that it's not really red so that's that could be an issue for a lot of people I'm just gonna <laughs> Oh, sorry, I had a serious cough. I have a lot of air pollution where I live, so I'm going to die pretty early because of the air pollution. Anyways, um, I'm going to keep both. You know, the other one, the red one, looks like the way Nightingale should be. This is more of a custom. Maybe maybe even I'll decal, decal this one because it's so different, you know. So anyways, uh, it's nice to know, though, that the joints are tight. So if you were to buy this thing new, or probably the other one new, the joints are relatively tight. The only issue really is the design flaw going on here. That pin is just too short. The arm fell off again as I was trying to pose that sword. So it's not really the greatest action figure. You're going to have a hard time posing it. It's more like just pose it the way you like it and then just put it away and never touch it again. That's going to be what I'm going to do. Okay, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm sure I'll find some other toy that looks like a nightingale, and I'll review it then. All right. Bye now.